Hey everyone! So AI is a massive, gigantic field that I'm going to make many, many more videos about, but if you only have a minute of spare time, then this is a quick and general idea of how AI in games works. Ready? Let's go! Let's say we have a game called Sticks. There are five sticks on the table, and you must take at least one stick, but no more than four. And if you take the last stick, you lose. We want to design the best possible AI to play this game, and to do that we need to model every possibility for each turn. If we go first, we could take one, two, three, or four sticks, so we make four branches for each of these possibilities. Then we make all the possible branches for each move our opponent could make, and so on. So if we say that plus one is a win and minus one is a loss, we can add those wins and losses up the tree, and now we want to find the best path to our goal based on that score. In this case, it makes the most sense to pick four sticks first because we're guaranteed to win every time. This game may seem really basic, but we can extend this tree structure to other games. For chess, for example, our first layer would have 20 different branches, because we have 8 pawns that can move 1 or 2 spaces, and 2 knights that can move forward and left, or forward and right. We can keep making these layers to see which moves minimize the opponent's chance of winning and maximize our own chance of winning. This quickly gets really complicated, and we have to consider things like probability, piece values, and strategic planning. IBM's Deep Blue defeated world chess champion Garry Kasparov in 1997, but there are still many games that computers cannot consistently beat humans at, partly because our best AI algorithms are still slow at searching through very large trees, or we have reason to believe they could be faster, but we haven't found that faster way yet. Anyway, in conclusion, the core of many problems in game AI can be reduced to drawing a tree for every possible move and using a variety of techniques to quickly find your goal based on that tree. Of course, there is so much more I plan on talking about, but this is just artificial intelligence in a minute. So have a happy day wherever you are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!